Hi everyone, I am here. This is um, kind of my backyard, side yard. Um, it's a nice day out and I just decided to do this outside. Um, I have a couple package openings from a few different places. One of them may not actually really be for my smart dolls, I can't really remember. Um, but anyway, I have Mikoto out here and I have CJ out here. Um, at least one of these packages is specifically meant for CJ, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I think I'm going to start with that one first, because I kind of already opened it and took a peek at it. So, um, this is from, uh, an artist, seamstress Taylor, um, from the Netherlands. She's in, she's active in various, um, smart doll groups, and I really... Apologies if I'm not pronouncing her name right, but um, Eil Verhoef, um, she does um, custom made clothing and she can also um, get embroidered items onto, or embroidered images onto custom made clothing. So um, she had posted about it and I just contacted her and asked her if she could make a few things for me, well, for CJ specifically because, as we all know, uh, the boy dolls are not that common and there really isn't a lot of um, artists out there yet making clothes that fit the, like, buff chest, the, the chest that came standard with Gemini. And so I, I, I got this shirt a long time ago um, off of Etsy for him and it was like the only shirt I have that really fits him. Besides, like a button-down Hawaiian shirt, which is probably meant for another doll size. Um, at any rate, so I reached out to her because she had posted that she makes custom-made clothing, and <laughs> excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold. Um, at any rate, she was very patient with me while I took the time to get all of his measurements um, for the larger bust, not the slim bust for guys, or the macho bust, I think is what it's termed. At any rate, she worked with me very patient, took all of the um, images that I wanted, which were logos, um, and put them onto shirts for me that were custom sized to fit him. And um, I'm just going to go on with it. So she has a um, website, um, I, th I think, maybe not, but she has a, maybe it's a Facebook group, Maxime Doll Design. Um, and she sent along a little card and a thank you note, thank you for buying my work. Hope you enjoy. Hugs, Isle, I, I think. I don't know. But here's her card. I am like really far from my um, Chromebook, so I'm not going to be able to show anything really up close. Um, so I did have her make four custom shirts for him. And then while she was making those, she also was continuing to make other things like, like um, fall themed items. And she posted up that she made this really adorable Halloween sweater. So I bought this too because it's just so cute. So it's like purple and orange and it has this little ghost um, embroidered on it and it's just adorable. I think I'm going to um, actually put it on Haru, the Haruka um, doll that I have because I just think it's cute for like a younger looking kind of doll. So the custom made items that I had for him were four t-shirts, um, three are short sleeve and then one is a long sleeve and I'm just so super pleased with how they came out. So the first one I'm just going to show you is a CJ t-shirt. So it's like the Culture Japan logo and it's in gray embroidery on a white short sleeve t-shirt. I am going to try at least one of these shirts on him to see how it ends up fitting because I have no idea how to measure dolls for size. Um, but I think that this is ending up looking pretty, pretty correct size for him across these really super broad shoulders. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so I wanted a Culture Japan shirt for him. I'm sorry, I'm outside and there's like a squirrel running along the fence behind me. Um, the other things are a little bit more near and dear to my heart. Um, so if any of you follow along with me or have seen my post, I named this doll um, CJ for uh, Culture Japan, but also for the names that it represents, Corbin Jean. Corbin is my son, Jean was my father who passed away earlier this year. Um, and usually I have CJ pictured with glasses on because my son has a 
um, rare genetic syndrome called Lowe's syndrome, which we are, our family is a part of an association um, working to find a cure for that really rare um, genetic syndrome. And anyway, they of course do fundraisers themselves and that sort of thing, and they have their own logos. And so I asked Io, again, sorry if I'm pronouncing the name wrong, um, to put the logo of the Low Syndrome Association um, onto these shirts. So this is LSA, and there's a tiny little pair of like glasses that's part of the logo. I wish I could show it up a little bit closer, but um, Low Syndrome, um, I'm not going to go on too much about it, but it affects the brain, eye, and kidney of people who have it, and it's most notable for affecting the eyes. Um, right at birth it's a hallmark sign if they are born with cataracts and so usually they have to wear glasses their whole life which is why he usually is in glasses he doesn't have glasses on right now because him and Mikoto were playing baseball the other day so I took him off um, but anyway she I made these custom made correctly sized shirts for the macho bust and took all of the logos that I wanted and put them on there so here's one LSA logo. It's LSA with this, the pair of glasses. Um, this one I'm really super excited about. This says one and a half million and it has another little, this is also like one logo that they've used and the one, the O in one is like a little smiley face wearing a pair of glasses so it looks like a little boy. Um, low syndrome does only affect one in every 500,000 people. It's super rare and so it doesn't really get a lot of um, assistance or help. Um, it's not a widely known disease because it just doesn't affect a lot of people. So um, anyway, when I was able to reach out to her and ask her if she could do these logos, um, and she agreed, and she, she, they just came out so beautifully. Um, I'm just so pleased with how they are. And this one, I, I especially like this one because I actually um, have a sweatshirt hoodie in the exact same blue with this logo on it. So me and CJ can twinsy. I'm so excited uh, That'll be later this year. I'm sure and then this one is also one of their um, Logos it just is another LSA and it says low syndrome association. So now CJ has some more shirts that he can wear um, both short sleeve and long sleeve they should fit his um, broad shoulders and he continues to represent um, a hope of my own family and many families around the world who hope for a cure for this um, extremely rare uh, genetic disease. So he's kind of my ambassador for that. So I'm going to try one of these on. Um, again, this was uh, a shirt from H Etsy that I got. Don't mind me, I'm just going to behead him really quick. <laughs> he doesn't mind. <laughs> and um, I'm hoping that these other uh, shirts will just fit perfectly over this larger bust. So, let me get this one off of him. <coughs> and I do apologize for coughing. Um, I unfortunately am recovering from a cold. Thankfully it is not uh, COVID. But um, I definitely, I am like, I have no defense against the common cold. Like, I'll get it and I will have it for like three weeks. So I'm in the middle of week two. All right, so here's this Etsy shirt. And gosh, I don't even know which one I want them to try on because I love them all so much. Um, I guess we'll just go with this one because it's on top. And um, I don't know um, how other people have been faring with um, Gemini and the arms. I know there was um, talk for a while about the arms causing problems um, on the guys and maybe that was one of the reasons for um, them kind of being pulled from the main uh, site to kind of go for a redesign. Um, but I have never really had an issue with him, but maybe I don't pose him a whole lot. I don't know. Um, but as you can see, I can kind of move his arms all, all around, and they.
they don't pop out. I don't really have a difficult time posing him. Um, this looks pretty great. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So the only other white t-shirt I have was a Culture Japan white t-shirt. And I thought it was meant for guys because it fit across his um, waist. But it was like super tight up here on the chest. So I don't know if it was really meant for guys or if I just stretched it out. But this fits fantastically. Oh, I'm so pleased with how these came out. All right, so let me pop his um, bracelet back on and his hands, and then I will show you guys what it looks like. So I really have to say thank you so much to, I, I will definitely be posting a link for this um, video review on, um, once I, oops, and here I put his hands on backwards. Oops, sorry, CJ. Um, I just, I would love for everybody to get to know her. She's so um, patient to work with. She is happy to take measurements directly from your doll. She'll let you know what she needs and she shows you work along the way. Um, it was really, really fantastic to work with her and I probably will work with her again in the future because this is fantastic. Here you guys go. What do you think? It's not super tight it just looks like a nice fitted t-shirt there is looseness across the abdomen so it's not like crazy tight it doesn't look stretched out across the shoulders as you can see like he has such broad shoulders this is amazing really really beautiful work so I highly highly recommend her um, again you might be able to look for her Facebook group Maxime doll design that's m-a-x-a-m-y um, and she is a member of several of the um, smart doll groups so you can reach out to her and just private message her and she'll work with you to come up with stuff so yay this is awesome I'm so so excited so pleased so those are kind of his goodies and now he officially has more than one t-shirt to wear which is also really really awesome um, and she she lives in the Netherlands I don't know if I mentioned that already but um, she shipped it out fast shipping no problem it was great everything was wonderful um, I think this is actually for CJ as well um, this came a day or so ago so I'm kind of moving on to another artist but I cannot recommend Ayo enough she's she was wonderful to work with I will definitely try to find her group or share a link to uh, how you can get in touch with her um, both in my video here on YouTube and then I'll share it up on the Facebook groups too. Um, so this is, <coughs> excuse me, um, also for CJ, although again I suppose any of my dolls could wear it. This is my second order from an artist on Etsy called 9am flower, so it's like the number 9am and then the space and the, the word flower. They make um, uh, like ears for any really any one-third size doll um, they don't specifically market to smart dolls but um, they just use like metal headbands and um, they make these really beautiful um, animal ears of various shapes and sizes and colors um, to fit one-third size pez and they fit fine on um, smart dolls so this is my second order from them the first order I had was those pair of like purple and white um, foxy kind of ears I guess that I put onto my um, prophecy girl, the um, by name Bell. She's usually wearing like white and purples, and they were like white and purple ears, and they were just so perfect. So for CJ here, I wanted to get him something. I guess you could say maybe this is kind of a Halloween costume, but not. It's just something I thought would be fun for him. So this is a pair of like um, custom like or not I didn't customize these these were just something that they released on their site and they do like new releases every week or so um, of different styles of ears so this is a pair of like the like I would say the standard fox ears they're like um, that orangey um, find kind of fiery red looking with black tips on the back and then little white floofs of ear fluff on the inside so it's like fox and then they also had a foxtail with it. So he's going to be a little fox with a foxtail. I'm so excited. It's, it's just going to be so adorable. And I would love, love, love to get him um, like a red uh, wig 
so that it can look like a natural extension of his um, wig or his hair. And then surprisingly in here, um, I don't recall ordering these. Maybe I did or maybe it's just a really little um, nice freebie. I'm going to have to message them because they, they make some really fantastic items and I don't want them to have accidentally sent me the wrong, like somebody else's order. But here's a little freebie pair of like white like cat ears. They're super adorable. They're like white with pink on the inside. Um, I don't think I ordered these so I'm going to make sure that they didn't accidentally send these to me. Um, but just so you guys can see, I'm going to show you these fox ears and I'm not sure how the tail connects. It might be like magnetic or a tie-on. My little kiddo is coming over here in the video. Stay back kiddo. Back it up. Here, you want me to fix that? Here. Whoops. Here. Let's get this fixed. Here. It's a bye. There you go. I will go to. Okay. I will go to. <laughs> so, I can't again get very close but um, they have like little ear fluffs on the front and then also on the back. So it looks kind of natural when you set it against the wig because then the um, fluff kind of goes um, over the top of his hair. So let's see if I can put these on and see how they look. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This is just going to be so adorable. And this could be for girl or boy. These ears are kind of unisex, so that's really nice. Um, but I totally meant for them to be for him because I thought he would look adorable as a fox. So. You can kind of like spread the fluff out, maybe fluff it up however you want. <laughs> and these ears are also movable on the headband so you can kind of move them up and down to give a slightly different look. But there he is. Oh, look at that. Isn't that adorable? I love it. I cannot recommend also Ninium Flower enough. They do fantastic work and they are starting to accept um, like custom orders so you can kind of design your own um, like ears, like what shape you want. They do bunny, fox, cat, dog, anything you want and they'll kind of shape it correctly and they'll let you pick out colors and stuff like that. I have not gone that route yet, but I probably will someday. Um, so here's a nice big fluffy um, foxtail, but you can really fluff up. This is really nice quality fur, I think. Um, it's kind of set into like a curve and I don't know. I don't think there's a wire in there. Oh, there is a wire in there. So there you go. Um, so you can kind of pose it how you want, it looks like. And it has a magnet on one end or the other. So, ooh, it's a strong magnet too, I think. Um, I have like no nails right now. I don't, I think it's a magnet. I mean, it is a magnet, but I don't, it seems like it's like glued together almost. Um, a separate magnet in here so this has got to be it it's just oh there we go that was a really strong magnet all right so it looks like I can just kind of slip it down don't mind me put my finger down your pants here kid that's really inappropriate all right so I'm just putting it in the back of his jeans um, and there you go oh my god look at that oh it's so super adorable I suppose I could put it up higher maybe like on his underpants or something but let's see how it hangs through the jeans it looks maybe not a strong enough magnet I probably could get a little bit stronger magnet um, to, to stay upright through the jeans maybe it look better through the shirt but there it is and there's his ears this <laughs> is super cute this is the first time I've gotten something that they have where they offer the tail and the ears um, but I've gotten so the other one that I got was just the ears and so they just do some fantastic work. This is really great. I love this. So super adorable. Now he's a little fox and he has uh, a reason to stand behind and to promote about. So CJ's getting spoiled now. I haven't been able to do much for him since I've had him um, because it's just been so far hard to find um, clothes that would fit him. But now he has clothes and he has ears. He has a Halloween costume. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, thank you so much, Nighty and Flowers. They are on uh, or not even flower. They're on Etsy and I am going to just make sure that this isn't an accidental uh, shipment to me but um, if not thank you so much for the fabulous freebie. Um, I definitely will be returning to them. I know I will because I love their stuff. It's so great. 
and just to get to show you guys, so it's just a little metal headband, and because it's like kind of pretty small, you really can't see it in profile. Um, you might be able to see it from the side, but um, with longer hairstyles like um, Mikoto's here or something, you could probably just kind of set the hair over the headband. But just to show you that you can kind of move the ears, so you can move them just to give like a different look. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> My god, I love it. It's so cute. And these are just so quality. I love them. It's just the cutest thing ever. Um, I really, really recommend 9 a.m. flower. So, thank you for that. And then this last thing, um, I ordered, <coughs> excuse me, some outfits from Dal Me, And I, it might be the ones I ordered for Mikoto, or it might not be. I'm not totally sure. I made a couple of orders with them recently because they are releasing um, some card capture Sakura outfits and I just my whole start in ball join dolls was my Chichobas Delphi and I love Clamp they are absolutely my favorite artists manga artists uh, storytellers anime everything that they do I'm just so impressed with and uh, anyway so now I still am on the hunt for um, like stuff that has to do with clamp and so yeah this is actually not uh, the outfits from Makoto sorry um, but uh, I'll show you what I got anyway this is um, the fantastic card capture Sakura outfit that's supposed to fit for mini Delphi dreams for like one fourth size dolls or Delphi Dream petite so they're a little bit taller um, dolls and this, I believe, would be referred to as Sakura's um, closing outfit. So, like, the closing outfit that she wears in the anime credits, um, I think, of season one. Maybe the last half of season one. I don't know, but it's pink and it's white and it has star accents and it is just ultra adorable. It's not going to fit either one of these dolls, so I'm not even going to attempt to... Um, take it out and try it on a doll. Or maybe I'll make another video of just trying this on my um, either my mini Delphi Dream or really what I intend to make into my card capture Sakura doll. Um, the one fourth size dolls that I got from oh my gosh, I can't remember. Doll Pan. I have four dolls from them. They're in resin and they're um, meant to to be my card capture Sakura dolls. Anyway, so I won't do much with that, but I, Dollar Me, they are on on par, on spot with, or should I say spot on with, um, making um, anime character costumes for dolls that have never really officially been released by any of the major doll makers, and I just, I love their work. So I did get one thing to ship along with this to get free shipping um, that can fit, uh, Smart doll, um, and they actually uh, list on here the different size dolls that it can fit, um, and different bus sizes. So this should fit smart doll bus sizes, small, medium, large. Um, it's just a like a pinstripe trench coat, and I think it would probably best fit on girls. So I'm gonna have Makoto try it on. It's not necessarily intended for her or really anybody in particular, but um, I think it's meant for girls to wear. So, since she's here and her clothes that I did order for her didn't come, um, we'll have her try on this nice little trench coat. And this little trench coat, I think, it really wasn't too bad. It was maybe like 30 or 40 bucks, maybe, I don't know. Um, but, Dollar Me, if you follow their um, Facebook page, they will announce various items go on sale every Monday. Um, and those are really fantastic deals um, because they make some fantastic clothes. Look at this jacket. It's like a flared um, bottom. It's like a tan, <coughs> excuse me, to <coughs> like a beige-ish and it has white pinstriping and it's just beautifully ta tailored. There's like um, seam lines that just go like how a natural, like a human sized cut would go. The buttons um, on the front are gold and they have like, I guess what you would say, maybe like a coat of arms little logo or something in there. Um, the buttons are a tad 
bright or big, to, in my opinion. I would almost switch these out for like um, beige or neutral, neutral like pearlescent buttons. Um, but they are a nice pop of color there on this coat. And this, like so many other things, is just beautifully tailored. Um, and actually, the buttons are functioning. Um, so let me see if I can unbutton all these buttons here and get this off of, off of this. There's actually a little cardboard in here to help keep it um, its form. And on the inside is like a beautiful like white silky lining. It's not necessarily um, like silk per se, but it's like that type of material. Um, so there is one thing I would note on this coat. Um, I don't know if it's the seam for the hole, the buttonholes, but like there are loose threads, so it's kind of hard to get the buttons out because the threads are catching. Um, I don't know, but I just want to try this on her, so let's see what I can do here. Oh my gosh, so all eight buttons are functioning, so I'll have to take off all eight buttons here to make this work. Um, okay, so the other buttons, I don't know, maybe it's just easier because I have more space to see them being opened up. But these ones seem a little bit better, but there is also that, like, um, white lining, kind of, that they kind of sewed the, the um, buttonholes onto. I don't know if that's showing very well there, but the outer buttons holes have a few loose threads. So I don't know, maybe people who are comfortable with that or know how to kind of make those threads stay put, maybe would consider that as a caution for this coat. But it is really beautiful and we're just gonna try it on her to see how it fits. So uh, Mikoto is in a standard size bust, which I think is referred to probably, I guess, as like medium, I don't know. Um, and this is that wig that I'm trying on her. I do like the colors on her, but I'm not sure that it's going to be her final look. Uh, let's see how easily I can slip this coat on her. The sleeves do seem pretty wide. Let's see if they would fit over the hand very well. Yeah, I probably can leave her hands on for this. So, let's see if I can get this on her. <clears throat> At any rate, this should fit over her um, bust easily enough if I wanted to button it up, which I will try that, at least with a few buttons so we can see what that looks like. Alright, so, yep, her hand slipped through just fine. I know this doesn't look quite right over, like, a gym outfit that she's wearing, um, but... I think just for the purpose of trying it on, she'll she'll be fine. Let me move her wig out of the way. You know, does anybody else feel as weird as I do referring to dolls' hair as wigs? Because basically that would mean that they're all bald, which technically I guess they are, except for dolls that have rooted hair. Um, I like to just say their hair. I try not to say wig because I I don't know. I feel weird about it. So um, it does fit very nicely very nicely tailored here. Um, fits fine across the shoulders. Um, let me just show what it looks like with her standing up to get an idea of the length there. I don't know if I've really ever seen many other people with this doll. They probably look pretty fantastic with like a little belt too. Um, but I love the fullness of the flare on the bottom. It fits nicely to her wrists. It's a good length. And <laughs> I think it looks really good. Um, let me just try a couple of buttons to see how it looks buttoned up. We're just gonna, I'm just going to do like two top buttons here. I know it totally clashes with her uh, gym outfit, but I was actually hoping that in this package would be her two outfits that I picked out for her. And I was just going to, I was planning on changing her entirely. So that's why I didn't really change her to match this. So. It was um, like folded when it was sent. It, they folded over this dress form to keep it, you know, kind of nice and flat. So it might have to be ironed or 
if it's hung up for a while, hopefully that like crease will come out of the bottom. But um, that's really pretty. That's so cute. It would look great with leggings, a dress, long or short. It's going to be a nice um, jacket to, to put on one of my dolls for the fall and even winter season. So let me just try to get a close up here so you guys can see that a little bit better. Doesn't that look nice? I love the looks of it. Even on the back, it just looks so pretty. It's like a little skirt almost. There were other colors too of this jacket, I believe. There wasn't just beige. Um, I don't remember what the other colors were. Maybe like a green or a red. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so there is my three <laughs> packages. And I'm sorry I've been like kind of coughing throughout this video. <coughs> um, hopefully I'll be better soon. But again, I'm just going to give a tip for all of these really fantastic um, artists and makers and creators of doll things because I I cannot sew a stitch to save my life. I'd love to learn someday, but for now I'm happy to work and then pay other artists to make amazing things. So thank you again so much for um, Isle Riverhof from Maxime Doll Design for the custom made shirts and embroidered items. Um, 9 a.m. Flower for the fantastic ears and foxtail. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so great on him. And of course, um, Doll Remy for this really lovely trench coat and another Cardcaptor Sakura outfit um, to try on um, my girls, or my Doll Pam girls in the future. So thanks so much for watching everybody. Have a great Dolly day.